Hi boys and girls, it's Thursday. Time for your next Scratch Junior lesson. Are you ready? So today we are going to use Scratch Junior to make a fun dance party. All right, here we go. I'm gonna switch over to my iPad and we will get started. All right, boys and girls, time to start coding our Scratch Junior dance party. So I'm going to start by opening up the Scratch Junior app on my iPad. And I'm gonna press the home. And I'm gonna start a new project. Okay, so here we go. All right, today we're going to actually pick a different character. I like the cat, but we've used the cat in our other projects already, so time to pick something new. So I'm going to press and hold on him for a couple seconds with my finger, and you'll see he gets that red X, and I'm just going to press the X and he goes away. Sorry, cat, I like you, but time for something else. Now I'm gonna go up here to where that blue plus sign is, and it'll show me different characters that I can add. So for my dance party today, I'm gonna to choose this character. That's Tack, and press the check mark. And I'm gonna go back in and choose this character. That's Tack. All right, you do not have to pick the same two that I did. You can use whichever characters you would like for yours. And then I'm gonna go back to the backgrounds here and they're gonna do their dance party here on this theater stage. All right, and there we go. They are ready to have a dance party. Okay, now over here, you'll notice you see Tack and Tack, my two characters in my dance party, but down here, you only see Tack showing up. So right now, you'll notice that Tack is highlighted in yellow. That means that right now, it wants me to program Tack. But when I want to program Tack, I'm just gonna tap on her up there, and then you'll see down here it switches, the workspace switches to Tack, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, as long as Tack is up on the screen, I'm gonna program her. And the first thing we need to do is give her the green flag. So I'm gonna go in these yellow tools, these yellow commands, and do the green flag. I have to do the green flag, That's, this is gonna be really important because we want the two characters to dance at the same time. So both of their sets of commands have to be able to run at the same time. So that green flag is very important. Now I'm gonna to switch to the blue set of commands and I'm just gonna give our friend here some dance move. All right, let's try that and those. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, all right. So now Tech is done with her dance. So now we're gonna switch over and program Tech. So I'm gonna go to my yellow set of commands Start with the green flag. Now, I think I'm gonna have Tack start by saying something to Tack. I'm gonna have Tack say, do you wanna dance? So I'm gonna go here to the purple set of commands and I'm going to give Tack a speech bubble. Okay, and underneath the speech bubble there where it says hi, I'm gonna tap that. Go over to my X and delete hi. And I'm going to have him say, do you want to dance? With a question mark. Okay, now I can give Tax some dance moves. So back to my blue set of commands. Okay, now if I press my green flag, let's see what happens. I'm gonna reset, here we go. All right, so they both did their dance, but did you notice a little problem? 
Yep. Tack started dancing right away before Tack had even finished asking if she wanted to dance. So that's a little problem, but we can fix that. So now I'm going to show you what we can do so that she doesn't start dancing until after he's finished asking the question. So what we need to do to make her wait until after he's asked his question is add in a command to her set of commands that tells her to wait until he's done asking the question. So I'm going to switch over here to tack and then here in the orange set of commands you'll see here there's this little clock. See that? I'm going to add that. I'm just going to use my finger and move these over and I'm going to add that little clock that's the wait command. Okay, And I want her to wait a certain amount of time until after he asks her the question. And you just kind of have to play around with it. I don't know exactly how long it'll take. Uh, let's try 30 maybe. And it's not seconds, it's just their little unit in Scratch Junior. So let's see what happens now. If I have her wait 30, 30 Scratch Junior moments, let's see what happens when I press the green flag now. There we go. Okay, so now he asks the question, do you want to dance? She waits and now they both dance together. Okay, so boys and girls, that is your lesson for today. I want you to go ahead and have fun making a dance party. Pick your characters, pick your background, and have fun making the characters dance. And even try adding a speech bubble in there. It's kind of fun to put that in. All right, if you have any questions, remember to check in with me during your win time. I will be live and happy to help you if you need help. All right, see you all tomorrow. Have fun.